the Nightside Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Keery on KSL News Radio. Welcome to the Nightside Project and Ethan Millard. We are helping you finish your commute and finish your day happy. To do that, we've got a great Zen headline for you teed up. Coming up in just a little bit, a Zen headline that actually Alex found. It is. Why do you have to say actually like that? Like well, he actually looked something up okay, on the you're internet. Right. You're right. I should rephrase that. Something that amazingly, shockingly, <laughs> for once, Alex found. For is that once, better? he says. So it uh, is. Uh, it's basically a revenge story. And you know what? Sometimes revenge is not zen. Sometimes it totally is. That's how I feel anyway. I'm sure a real uh, professional might disagree with me. Don't but overdo it. It's just, it's just. It's, uh, a, it's a great revenge moment, and it's coming up here. But in the meantime, today is National Donut Day. National Donut Day is a big deal around here, and today we are plus one. We've got a special guest here in studio. You can see him if you're watching the video version of this. Some people call him Dennis. His nieces and nephews have always called him Uncle Denny. I call him Dad. <laughs> Dennis Millard, welcome to National Donut Day on the Nightside Project. Thank you, my son. <laughs> <laughs> see, see already see? this is a very this is this episode is fraught with a lot of history and emotion yeah, already. Which is funny because uh honestly, Dennis uh and your mom live very, very close. Yeah, just a couple blocks away. He, he's, yeah, it's my like a to... once in five years like kind of moment <laughs> that your dad will roll into the office and go. Well, thanks for the invitation, buddy. Well, he used to work here in this building I even, a long time I, ago. You know what I think? It's just because you're a bad son. I know. That's why well, we don't see your dad that often. Well, that goes without <laughs> saying. But it, on, on National Donut Day, I want to let you all into a little side of myself that I sometimes talk about. And not everyone's familiar with this, but I want to show you a photo. I posted this on Twitter as well. You can see it right here. If you see, this is a, an old photo, black and white photo, almost sepia a little bit. Uh, of a donut shop, Millard's Donuts. Yes, my grandfather was a donut baker, had his own shop, and that's where my dad grew up. In the donut shop? My dad grew up. Well, let's ask you. Pretty, baking pretty donuts. much in the donut shop. Yeah, yeah how that's that, right. How did that work? Uh, <laughs> did you guys live nearby, or was it like one of those things where you live like, yeah, we we're actually on the second floor. All we did was smell donuts all day. I can't eat a donut ever again. <laughs> well, that was the second donut shop. This is the first one. And the second one, we did live above it in uh, in a home there. But in this apartment, we lived a little bit outside the city and commuted in. If you imagine a commute in Idaho Falls, Idaho, <laughs> <laughs> grueling three and a half minutes. You took tracks, right? <laughs> I mean, <isn't> that... <laughs> well, so so how did how Wait. did uh, the thing is is that any sort of adventure like this or any sort of business venture at all takes quite a bit of uh you know hey man i believe in these donuts we're gonna sell a lot of donuts and and uh, i mean it's called millard's donuts so how did uh how did how did your dad come up with this was he like a second generation baker or was this just like his thing where he goes you know what i'm sick of doing this i'm gonna sell donuts yes you got it my grand my grandfather was a baker and so together they started this donut shop and I was about in this donut shop I was about 4 years old and so I remember wandering around the donut shop grabbing things eating them talking to customers I was probably really obnoxious but that was my life and so it was great uh, this is and this is an old school shop I mean this this photo is from oh, yeah. the 50s uh, how many donuts would you make a day do you think in the shop uh, I would imagine that Dad made uh, 60, 70 dozen donuts in a day. There were times that he got orders for several hundred dozen. And the the army base. Well, no, that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, do I have to ship off to Pocatello, like the, the, to the big city? Like, and, how, uh, how exactly? Because that's a that's the that's industrial size kind of doing it. But if you're like a shop in town, you do donuts, and that's what you do. You better make. Uh, enough so that all your customers are there. I mean, obviously. That, that's right. And and I remember donut sessions lasting all night long, making donuts and uh, getting them into bags and boxes and getting them ready to go Look out the door. Look at the front of the – this picture on the front uh, of the shop there, this intrigues me because – and it is, if you're – I mean, because a lot of people are listening to this and not seeing the video part of it, but uh, if you could make a 50s-style front of a shop – it would be this retro way. and like yeah. it, nowadays people try to make this look. There's a but little. This is exactly what people try to look like. But I love this hand. It looks like it's probably hand painted that mall. It says on it. And the concept sounds we need more of this. 
Malted milk donuts. Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of grandpa's specialty, the malted milk donuts. What were those like? That's right. Well, they were terrific donuts. Dad put the malted milk in there, and I don't know where he got the idea to do this, but he did it and put the malted milk in there, and it just made them I mean, to this day, I still prefer malts over milkshakes. Yeah. There's a taste in there. Yeah. There yeah. is. And it was a great taste. It was just a wonderful taste. Uh what was the kind of how many different varieties? Did Grandpa cook? Well, the, he made uh, cake donuts and raised donuts. And so on the raised donuts, there was a glazed and then chocolate icing, maple icing, uh, maple bars, chocolate bars. And Dad had a specialty of a pineapple donut that was a three-hole donut. Really? Yes. And so it was probably, oh, six, six inches across, I'd say. It had three holes in it, glazed with... Uh, Pineapple icing with pineapple chunks in it. Whoa. That's cool. And that Wait, was tasty. It, yeah. Look, you sidle that thing up with a little bowl of cottage cheese, you're set. <laughs> you throw, you throw yeah. the cottage cheese in one of that's the holes. A real, and that's a real Idaho thing to do, too. They're all, they're, we love doing that in the U.S. or like the land, landlocked states. We go, we take pineapple and put it on stuff and go, yeah, you know why? Because we got pineapple. We're going to do it. So we brought donuts in, though. Uh, yeah, we have some donuts. And we got a variety of donuts in honor of the day. Uh, I, I don't know that I've ever asked you this question. If I have, I've forgotten it. But after years growing up in a donut shop, which which Grandpa had the donut shop your entire childhood and adolescence. In fact, he retired it just the year I was born. That's right. Yeah, I had left Idaho Falls, gone to Los Angeles, was married, and uh, and it was after that that they finally closed the shop. So after all those years, I don't think I've ever asked you, what is your favorite donut? Do you have a favorite? Oh, boy. I think I like the chocolate cake donuts the best. However, um, I like donuts in general. And, and Alice asked me and, and said, well, he probably is tired of donuts. I never got <laughs> tired of donuts. Well, never got tired of donuts. We have a chocolate cake donut here, which this is a Dunford donut. You know, Dunford makes those yeah. chocolate They're chocolate good, cake yeah. donuts. And they are great. We also got a fritter, a couple of other things. Let me pass this over to You're you, You're killing Alex. Millennial Josh. He's on like a cleanser, like one of those Millennial cleanses Can you right not now? eat donuts today? No, he can't. He's oh, like, Josh. Look, he can't, you know what he <laughs> came in with? I mean, you can deduce a lot from... You from know millennials what? on things like this. He walks into the studio, he saw the donuts, and he clutched at his heart like, oh, crap, Like this is not a good day to be here. Because, yeah. because following right behind him in his other hand is that, is that jug of water that millennials <laughs> like to carry around. Not just as like the I'm hydrating myself, but also it's a, it's a show for the rest of the world yeah. to, to let everybody know, hey, guys, I want my urine to be super clear right now because I'm on a thing. <laughs> I've got a thing going on right now. Let me pass this over to you. We've got a maple bar. We've got a blueberry cake. We've got a red velvet cake, uh, glazed, and a fritter. I'm, the fritter is interesting because uh, I'm laying claim did you guys to the do, fritter. You, okay, did you do? Did you guys do fritters at, uh, at the shop? Nope. Fritter Dad means not make any fritter fritters. was like a lot of work. I feel like that's a the fritter was a lot of work because you had to. I think it's a double. It's a double fried deal. That's what they. Call I don't. It a fritter. I don't have any idea. Well. He did make a cinnamon roll that was just great. He would uh, roll up the dough with cinnamon and raisins in it, a big long roll, and then chop it up into segments. Pass those plates over and, here. Uh, we're going to get the plates going. We're going to eat donuts in front of everybody on Donut Day. So okay. let's talk about donut philosophy for a second because the cake donut and the glazed donut are very different. And uh, I like a heftier uh, – if you're going to do a glazed donut, like we have one here. Mm -hmm. We have the glazed donut. But the problem is, is and, and you can see it right here. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to bring it right up to this guy right here. There you go. Now, nice. obviously it's it's uh, there was it's travel worn. <laughs> <laughs> Alex crashed his car on the way here. <laughs> no, look, it was just in one of those boxes or whatever, but if you do a glazed donut, there has to be a lightness to it. There has to yeah. be in some of the donuts these days, I feel like they just go, "Yeah, we're going to we're going to hit it uh we're just going to throw it in the fryer and whatever." But it gets too crispy and it's a, it, it once it becomes like a day old thing. The cake donut, and this is why I think the chocolate. Sorry, as I smack that's my it, lips. No, on the, the uh, you and I have talked about this philosophy too, because the cake donut is is a great donut. I got one of the blueberry ones. That's the one I. That's I, the I one personally you like. like a blueberry uh, cake donut, and I, I like cake donuts more than I like the raised ones. Mostly because people screw up the raised ones. They can. It's very easy to screw up the raised donuts. It's very easy to make them too sweet. It's very easy to make them greasy, unnecessarily greasy. That sometimes happens. Yeah, the chocolate. Uh, but I will tell you this, that for me, for me, nothing beats a really well-executed plain cake 
donut. Yeah. And that that's how I know if the shop is any good is I'll try the plain cake donut. So and the, if they can pull that off, then I'll know it's a good shop. Because yep. some because some some bakers they fall back on the on the toppings and the sweetness and the all that stuff. But if they can handle that plain cake with no plain- sugar dusting, no anything else, if they can do that, then they're good. And I think you're right on the nose with that too, Ethan, because Nowadays, there are various mixes available so that you can buy the mix and then add some ingredients to it, and you have the donut. And the thing that I always loved about Dad's Donuts is that they were scratch-built. Yeah. The, yep. the, the, the old-fashioned cake, too. You know the one with the... Oh, is that the, the one they, you're talking kind, about? No, I know what you're talking about. They kind of break apart yeah, a little yeah. bit. This yeah, is anything. More, this is more of the style you're talking about. Like the base of, of like a donut like this is plain, just a regular cake. Plain cake donut. I like the uh, cake too. The chocolate cake donut's great, and here's why. And Dennis has got it. Uh, he picked it right because they put a nice thick coating of that chocolate frosting, and it keeps the donut on the inside like even more fresh. Yeah, I don't know. it's it really nice. Yeah. 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 Trap, traps stuff. in that moisture. Josh is asking if he wants me to get him a, get if he wants. If I want him to get me a donut. So let's do this. Let's <laughs> let's take a break here. Uh, Dad, can you stay a couple of minutes? Absolutely. We've got a great Zen headline coming up. I think you'll enjoy it. Happy Donut Day, everybody. If you've got a favorite donut, share it with us on social media. Ethan Millard, KSL, Alex Keery, KSL. Let us know which one your favorite is. Maybe, maybe you've got a favorite shop. We'll be right back with a great Zen headline, a revenge story, a fast food revenge. <laughs> 